Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to explain the different types of the beam. So, starting with the first one, here we see the first type of the beam. It is known as the simply supported beam. Why it's called simply supported beam? Because this type of the beam is supported only by two supports. One is here hinge support. And the other one here is a roller support. When there are two supports provided, one is hinge and roller support, then this type of the beam is known as the simply supported beam. It should keep in mind that in simply supported beam is the type of the beam which is only supported by the two supports at both the ends. One is hinge support and one is the roller support. And it is the most simple uh, type of the beam. The second type of the beam is a fixed beam. Now why it is called is a fixed beam because the both support of the beam are fixed in this type of the beam. You see here this support is fixed and also this support is fixed. So both supports are fixed in this type of the beam. So this that's why this type of the beam is known as a fixed beam. The fixed support has the properties that it can resist the horizontal load. It can also take the vertical load. And it can also resist the moment. So when there are both the fixed supports at both ends of the beam, then such type of the beam is known as the fixed beam. The third type of the beam, which is only one fixed support at one end, it is known as the cantilever beam. That is also one of the most commonly used type of the beam. Cantilever beam. So here the one end is fixed here while the other end is free. So when the one end is fixed support and the other end is free end, this type of the beam is known as the cantilever beam. So now going into the other types of the beam, the fourth one, this type of the beam is known as the continuous beam. Why it is called as the continuous beam? Because there are more than two supports provided in this type of the beam. You see here a fixed support one support is provided here, then a hinge support is provided, then a roller support, then again roller support. So when there are more than two supports provided in the beam, then this type of the beam is known as a continuous beam because it is supported by more than two supports. That's why it is known as continuous. So the fifth type of the beam here is known as the overhanging beam. Now why it is called overhanging beam because the ends of the beam are overhanging. Here you can see here this part of the beam is hanging on the supports and also this part of the beam is also hanging on the supports. There are no supports provided here at this end and also there is no support provided on this end. So when the ends of the beam are free and they are not supported then such type of the beam is overhanging beam. This end is free end. And also this end is free end. There are no supports provided at both ends. So such type of the beam is known as overhanging beam because they are hanging without any supports. So the last type of the beam is known as the propped cantilever beam. Propped cantilever beam. Now this type of the beam is supported here at one end with a fixed support like a cantilever and here the other end of the beam is supported here by the hinge support so this is the same type of the beam like a cantilever that's why it is known as the propped cantilever beam but here in this beam we provide here another support at the other end which is known as the hinge support so there are two supports provided one is a fixed support at one end and one is the hinge support at the other end that's why that is known as the propped cantilever beam so hope you guys understand the different types of the beam and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching our video